Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And here I am with another jewelry jar. This is uh, the typical uh, vase shaped jar. It weighs uh, four pounds, eight and a half ounces. So we'll have to see when it's finished how much the actual glass part weighs. And it has quite a variety of things. Um, you know, a glass heart, some earrings, some, I don't know if those are glass beads with the little flowers in them. An interesting bracelet down here with pretty enamel work on it. This is unusual. It looks, maybe it's glass. Um, I don't know if that there is uh, uh, coconut shell. Oh, and the jar itself is got something on it. Rosa Flora Limited. Oh, interesting. Established 1978. Here's, oh, 25 years of growing together. Oh, cool. Must be like a, a florist's, a floral, I don't know. Cool, Never. I've never seen an engraved jar like that. So this I thought was very interesting. It looks like um, an ammonite that's been made into a pendant. Maybe it's not a true ammonite. Maybe it's just a piece of rock that's been carved that way. But I'd like to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> get to the bottom of the jar to see that. Um, some glass pin, uh, beads, perhaps bangles. Here's, uh, an inexpensive eyeglass chain from the dollar store. And, um, I've cut the tape off. This was from the Salvation Army, uh, 1999. And I did get a 20% discount. And there's my first bangle. It said, do not open. But guess what? I opened it because I wanted to make a video of what's in this jar. So let me pull a few things out. I think that's where we'll stop. And let's get started. So, oh dear, here's a piece of uh, fiber optic, optic glass that belongs in a, a pendant of some sort. Probably not an earring. Here is a very heavy watch last time I got a watch it was too small for me to wear oh this one would fit this is kind of cool it's heavy it says oh it's broken so can you see that part that's floating around in there it's supposed to go down around those three dials so there's a lot of work just to take the watch apart and fix it. It's an artisan robin something. Does it say it on the back? No. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I could see why somebody got rid of that. There, oh, there it's out of the road now. Robin Bar or Barre B B A R R E, I think. Oh, well, we'll have to look it up. It's uh, looks like it had a like a 24 hour dial, a 60 second dial, maybe a 60 minute dial. It's in very good shape. The band is uh, attractive, but uh, a bit of a job to get in there and get it fixed. Well, um, a watch. Now, I've never found these in a jewelry jar, and these look broken. So, one hand cuff. Oh, they're not broken, I don't think. They're just not connected. I guess this is supposed to be bangles. This is supposed to be a pair of bangles. Okay, so I'd have to uh, unhook them to put them on. 
Let's see if I can see a maker's mark anywhere. They're pretty shiny. So it goes on like this. And then you close it. But since you need help getting them on. Uh, unless, of course, you were going to wear them like this and then really use them as handcuffs. Uh, I don't know. One's got rhinestones, one doesn't. I don't think I can donate these to the ladies in the retirement home. I'll have to see if I can find somebody in my family who would have fun with these. Oh boy. Okay, so I've never found a pair of jewelry handcuffs in a jewelry jar before. There's a first time for everything. So welcome back. I apologize for the interruption, but I have on the table here a, I guess you'd call it a statement necklace. I like these kind of uh, rhinestones with the, um, I guess that would be milk glass unless it's all plastic. It's fairly weighty. Um, gold tone chain, uh, no maker's marks, um, nice construction on the back. However, uh, one of the, oh, these are plastic. One of the, um, stones, if you can call a plastic thing stone has fallen out. And I notice there is another one missing here. So I'm going to make sure I save that stone. Don't lose it, and maybe the other one will be in the jar. Um, this is easy enough to take apart and repurpose uh, the different pieces. Uh, here, the next piece we have, oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah. thought at first it was a fish, because usually uh, in jewelry you see articulated fish, but this is, I guess you'd call it a leaf, an articulated leaf with... Um, rhinestones and the um oh yeah it hangs kind of nicely and then there's another leaf here um attached to the chain and it's oh it's a good length it's probably 36 inches and we have a tag here and the tag says Let's focus. Oh, I've got it upside down. So if we ask it to focus now, A-E-O, uh, American Eagle Outfitters. Okay, so there's a lovely, that's a lovely little necklace. And so you can see how they lay it out. The distance, I mean, normally you'd have an 18-inch necklace to there, but that's just halfway, um, approximately, yeah. And... Uh, so nice little accent there like that. I like that. It's pretty. Okay, nice set of necklaces in here. Um, okay, there's a tag on this. So this is this is a bracelet. Five colors of blue. Um, I might be real suede real leather um, threaded through those and that's uh, Jessica Simpson tag I haven't I've actually not gotten a, a Jessica Simpson piece of jewelry before I've seen them enough from other jars but that's some um, very wearable bracelet I'm not sure how well the suede will clean up um, here's a couple of um, Slightly stretchy bracelets. This one seems a little more stretchy than the other ones, but uh, in good shape. Lots of nice uh, beads on them. That's a nice pair. Very wearable. And uh, I like the mixed metals. The fact that they look like washers, but they're not really washers. And there's some little rhinestones in there. So that's two bracelets. This... I was going to say this is might 
This looks like a vintage necklace, but it's not. Um, but very much a vintage style. I love the rhinestones. These are a little heavier and they're much colder than the other one. And I guess if we look carefully, we can see. Um, I was trying to see if we're missing anything. They're not prong set. They have those fake little spots on them. Oh, good. We got all the rhinestones. So that's nice. About 18 inches. And the lobster claw clasp and a tag that says Banana Republic. Very nice. Lots of name brand pieces so far. Here's the um, shell inlaid bangle that was on the top of the jar stuck to the tape. Um, in good shape. No name. So... I'm going to put it over with those handcuffs. My husband thought that he'd like those handcuffs. And I just broke something. Oh, I guess the... Oh, I didn't really break it. It was just a loose connection. So, do I have any pliers close by? I often do. So, bear with me while I... I have little, some teeny tiny ones. I'm just going to close this up so that, there we go. I don't break it again. Um, wood, maybe coconut shell beads. Attractive colors, you know, nice neutrals. Multi-strand necklace, short. Um, and uh, we know this symbol, caracol. So I've had some caracal jewelry before made out of shell and I'll uh, put some information about that company on the screen. So there's a single earring. I think we'll wait and we'll see if we can find its match before we show it. Oh, this is nice. These are plastic um, faceted roundels, stretchy bracelet. That's a good thing to donate. Uh, pink rhinestone bracelet. Something's funky there. Oh, maybe there was something on there. Hmm. There's something. Maybe there was a charm or something that's now missing. There, where's those little pliers? Let's uh, see if we can get it out of there. There we go. That's I like pink. I like rhinestones. And uh, it's just lightweight. I don't know if they're glass or plastic. I can't really tell. It's hard to tell. But that's very pretty. And uh, the rhinestones are very reusable. I usually keep these and with the idea that someday I might repurpose them. Um, well, this is a cute little pin. Look at there's the back. So just a, a pin. But it's, I've never seen anything like it. It's a cherub with a lyre, a musical instrument, and a little dangly star. Well, that's kind of cute. It's not my style, but it's kind of cute. It's an excellent shape. I would normally, you know, the, this half I would wear. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but the cute little cupid angel with the little tiny wings. So I wonder what the significance is that. The angels playing music in heaven? Oh, I don't know. I kept making things up. Alrighty. Oh, these are heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Wow. I'm just looking to see if there's... Oh, and there is a name inside there. And it's Monet. Very nice. Beautiful gold tone bangle. Beautiful tone. I mean... You could see some scratches on the inside. It's hard to get it to focus on the outside, but I think just a nice polish. Beautiful weight. I wonder if this one's also Monet. It's narrower. Let's see. It's upside down, but yes, it is. Oh, wow. Another Monet with a Monet and an extra M. I've never seen that. 
but lovely rhinestones on the top of that. So you can wear these together or not. Beautiful. Wow. This jewelry really is, jewelry jar is packed with cool stuff. I wonder if this is caracal. Oh, it doesn't have, it's, I was thinking some of the caracal jewelry uses uh, pieces of shell, and I'm not sure if this is shell or plastic. Almost looks like plastic. But it's a cute little, uh, I guess you could call it, I guess you could call it an illusion necklace. Um, purples on uh, purple wire. So it's very wearable. Uh, easily cleaned, nice and lightweight. So, see if we can find somebody who could enjoy that. Oh, this is heavy. Um, it looks like it was on a chain at some point. It's very heavy. It says Napoleon Emperor, and it's just a a great big empty thing that's heavy. Wonder how much it weighs. I got my scale here. If you bear with me for a second, I'll turn it on. Oh, it's only one and a quarter ounces. It just feels like it would be heavy on a chain. Maybe you could use it on a keychain, but it would weigh down your keys as well. What am I going to do with this? Put this with the single individual thingies. This is. I've broken that. What do you think? A kid's bracelet? Uh, uh. Oh, well. No, no, we don't need to spend any more time on that one. Here's the uh, pink heart. You can sort of see the pinkiness better down there. Do I have a piece of white paper close by? Not really. Um, oh, I know where to look. Okay, so if we put it on the white paper, you can see it's very pale pink. Um, and a black rubber cord, lobster claw clasp. I usually take these off and repurpose them. I'm just trying to see. I thought I saw a flash of what looked like a, a break in it, but I don't think so. So there's uh, something for repurposing. I saw these and I couldn't tell if they were plastic or glass. Oh, let's put them up close. You know what? I think they're polymer clay. Those are kind of glazed, but I guess this whole thing could be clay. Hadn't thought of polymer clay, but that's definitely the way those flowers are formed. Um, yeah, that's one of the things they do with clay. So just a lobster claw clasp, pretty little necklace, about 18 inches, yeah. Well, that, um, huh, I can donate that on quite easily, easily cleaned. Um, trying to pull things out here that are not tangled, so we'll, uh, we'll go to this next. This is a cord. Let's see what kind of cord it is. It's like a waxed linen cord. And we've got, so we have a lobster claw clasp and the three strands, is it? One, yep, three strands of a waxed linen cord and on them are cold glass beads. This one, oh yeah, feels like glass too. These are nice glass beads, if they're glass. That one feels, doesn't feel as cold, as cold might be plastic. That's kind of cute. I like uh, I like the beads on that. Again, 18 inches and uh, no maker. But that's uh, nicely put together. I if I were to keep it, I would probably end up repurposing the beads. If it can be cleaned, it can be donated. Um. Got something here that looks like a keychain stuck in a necklace. There we go. Okay. 
there's a piece of is it glass or is it quartz? It's a pretty flat, polished <coughs> edge there. Excuse me. I have no idea. How do you tell? It looks... See how it's carved there? Almost, I don't know. Those edges like that, it's almost like it was, uh, it's almost like plastic that is carved that way, but it's very cold. So maybe it is a way of carving glass. I Certainly they're not um, the rough edges of a piece of quartz that you would expect. It's very, it's smooth. So, I'll have to do some research on that. Certainly looks like a, a tool was taken and, you know, run down that way. And run down, straight down here and across there. You can see those planes. So, oh, a keychain of a different sort. Very interesting. Oh, I had a previous jar that had um, one of these earrings. So I'll have to go back and see if uh, I can find that earring. There was a necklace that matched it as well. Ooh, this is a big ring. Just a uh, fashion. Whoa. It's kind of, whoops, sorry. <laughs> the ring was bent and I was trying to figure out why the ring is bent and I couldn't get it on or off my finger that's weird I mean it's got lots of space but it see how it sits to the side it's like however it was made it's wonky so I don't know if you could if you need it had a mandrel like oh yeah here you can see how bad it how wonky it really is okay and it was adjustable at one point but so we need uh this needs some straightening and then somebody could wear it. Looks like a back of some kind of a bug. Alrighty. Enough of that. Is this one thing? Is this a couple of tangled things? Uh, oh, it's a tangled thing. So here's a lobster claw clasp and some faux suede. Just some material. There's three strands of it. And it comes down one black strand, one strand with metal beads on it, and then two strands that join. Um, I guess you could even take those apart that have little um, feathers on the end, like a kind of like a lariat. So this is quite long. If you get to the full length, we've got, this is about probably, it's going to be about 18 inches here. And then if we fold it back on itself, uh, another nine inches in length. I don't, I don't know how this can be cleaned so that someone could wear it again. I mean, I guess you could wash it, but I don't know what would happen to the cloth. Um... I don't know what kind of disinfectants there are for cloth surfaces. I know Lysol you can use on hard surfaces. You just spray and let it dry. And I guess I'll have to look into that for, you know, repurposing the cloth of that. And then this was mixed in or tangled with it. And it is, again, a multi-strand. Now this is on... Oh, I can there very fine is that a ball chain or is it just a very fine flat chain so three strands with a lobster claw clasp and these are some pretty beads some of them are metal 
majority of them are plastic. So the, the faceted beads are plastic. These feel like metal. They're heavier, slightly heavier. Um, so not an illusion necklace. And I like the colors. This You could wear this with a lot of different things. The light blue, the light pink, and the uh, sort of Merlot kind of that, that uh, purpley red. So very pretty. And let's see, I think it's a little bit longer. So the first strand is about 18. So what do we say? Maybe a little, yeah, 20, 22. That's very pretty. I like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to just try to pull this great big bundle of these out of here. Um, because we'll soon be getting, well, that, that takes us down to about half a jar. So I recently started looking at um, ways of repurposing bangles. So somebody must have known that because here's a great big bunch of bangles that I could repurpose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And they're nice and lightweight. Actually, I was, um, I'm looking at um, repurposing some of them for Christmas ornaments. So those are nice and sparkly on the outside and the reds and golds would be great for Christmas. And the others, these peachy ones, I could probably paint a different color. So that's not bad, there's, you know, there's opportunity. And this is neat. This is a pendant, a giant fish pendant. It's kind of cute, actually. Not too beat up, not too scratched. Um, and you could just hook it on a chain or, or not. Here's the thing I'm, I pointed at from the outside. It's uh, an eyeglass chain from our Dollarama. So that's new in package. I can pass that on. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, I knocked my camera on the floor. So I think since I'm getting to that clumsy stage of the day, I'm going to finish off with this seed necklace. Um, and then uh, we'll have to do part two of a jar. So these are seeds. This one's breaking apart um, that are strung to form a necklace and then it's got some other seeds here uh, just different configurations that's an interesting looking one and it's been cut off on the end so that it goes flat against there there's a is that a seed certainly looks more like a seed with that little pointy thing than it does a piece of wood and then there's this thing. It's kind of like a hamburger. But you know what? It's a seed. I've been afraid to plant these. I wonder. Like there's this one too. It's got the little point on it. That's cool. Whatever where, whatever country they come from, that's very interesting. I mean, what a real uh, uh, eye, eye for design. love to know what that is what kind of a thing that is it's freaky it it's it, it almost feels like plastic oh things that we don't know what they are how uh, intriguing they can be so i've broke a little bit of a thing already but i'm going to stop there and uh, we still have a good half of the jar to do and there's still that interesting thing that looks like a could be an ammonite or just a faux ammonite. So uh, I'll be back soon with part two. Thanks very much. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I hope you have a great day.